very um, today um, I would go through a search and destroy but I'm gonna do hardcore team deathmatch for this commentary um, I just wanted to inform you guys that I have just signed a partnership with Machinima and I'm pretty excited about it after a lot of research and a lot of going through trying to see if it would fit right with me I think it will um, I hope that it actually helps me to build up my audience um, you know so I'm pretty excited match. about it so here we go I'm playing some um, mission is a go hey, well what's your guys thoughts on it I mean what's your guys thoughts on the whole machinima thing I mean I've already signed the deal but you know it's um, I can't discuss anything as far as with the contract um, I can't discuss any kind of details We've lost the advantage. Um, you know other than that you know <laughs> um, what do you think I mean you know I know TNG actually they tried to get me over the weekend they actually contacted me and they wanted me to sign on or TGN the gaming network I believe it's what it's called they tried to get me to sign on with them and I'm Hostile I don't know about TGN I've not really I mean I've heard of them but I'm not you know and I'm probably gonna do shitty this map right here I, I normally I don't like to play team deathmatch too much but it gives the excitement the that uh, a lot of people Be advised, your equipment that a lot of people destroyed. actually like they like that excitement. Um, anyway, you can see I'm rocking the M27. The crotch shit. Um, what do you guys think? You know, I mean, you know, I'm getting kind of caught up in here in between the the gameplay. Uh, and I was wanting to do a little bit of dual commentary with a buddy of mine, but he's not online right now. Uh, you may find that I do that quite often. Um, try to get somebody to do commentate with me um, it's you know I it, it always brings a different element to the table when you got somebody there with you um, and, and oh shit and that's how you know I like to have fun whenever I do this stuff man it, it's just I, I don't know you know I'm I'm still still kind of green I mean I'm still uh, like I said I've been a gamer I've been around for quite some time um, I've actually been a clan leader uh, for over, well, since 04. I mean, I, I've been a clan leader since 04. Um, had fun doing that. Uh, some of the same guys that I clanned up with back in the day. Be advised, hostile UAV we still all get together every now and again. UAV we still, inbound. shit. We still have fun. Uh, we still get on and we play pretty competitive with uh, hardcore search. Um, you know, other than that, I mean, you know, there's not, there's not a whole, a whole bunch to say. Uh, these guys are spawning behind us. Um, you know, I mean, you're gonna see some gameplay from me. Uh, those that actually subscribe to me, you're gonna see a lot of Black Ops 2 gameplay. Um, Hostile hunter killer drone in. Shit. You'll also see a lot of. Um, I mean, you'll see some. Uh, when Battlefield 4 comes out, you'll see me rocking that. Friendly UAV when the inbound. new consoles come out, um, I'm going to actually have that on, on lockdown. I'm going to be actually ordering that and playing that. So, I mean, I'm going to be be into the the mainstream, so to speak, of the gaming. Be advised, hostile I've, I've always inbound. been like that. I've always been a, a hardcore gamer as far as through and through. Uh, this may not be my best match, but I'm excited, man. I'm excited. Um, you know, I'm I'm really really stoked about this, and I and I hope that everything works out great for me and uh, the signing on. I hope that damn thing don't kill me. Usually, I'm like the only guy these damn hunter killer drones like to kill for some reason. Shit, and I get team killed. Um. But I mean, tell me what kind of content you guys want to see. I mean, I'll, I can do... I'm not a core player. So, I mean, core is just like utter and total chaos to me. Hostile care package um, I have now. a hard time with core because of that. Um, you know, even the hardcore here, sometimes the, the team inbound. deathmatch, it can actually... Be a, wow, I thought I shot that guy. It can actually be a pain in the ass as well to actually... Um, 
you know, get the right kind of game going here. Um, but other than that, I mean, you know, what, what do you guys want to see? I mean, I need some input from you guys. Um, I don't get too much input. Be advised, hostile Shit. death machine spinning up. Anyway, and, and the input from you guys would be much appreciated. Um, I, I, I do a lot of search, and I mean, sometimes it's... Sometimes I can massacre and murder people, and sometimes I can just get totally raped. Shit. <clears throat> I have been messing around with the MP7. I want to kind of bitch and moan here a little bit about the MP7. Um, I've had to switch back over to it, and I played with it in Modern Warfare 3 a little bit. Uh, well, I'm, I'm lying to you. I played a lot with it in Modern Warfare 3. And it was just such a raping gun. I mean, it was just a beast of a raping gun. Uh, you can go out here and, I mean, you can just rip shit apart with that gun. Um, and, holy shit. But you can rip shit up with it. And on here, I noticed it's about the same way. I mean, it's just a straight up ripping gun. And you start off with this gun. I mean, I'm like, you know, if it's so powerful, why didn't they move it to the end of the line as far as where you need to earn it you know because here I am I tried out the EVO the EVO is a slick ass looking gun I mean it it's slick it's got a hell of a fire rate I know this guy right here it's got a hell of a fire rate um, it just don't have the punch you know this sometimes this gun right here don't really have the punch but it has a bigger punch than the EVO um, I know the EVO it just don't have the it just don't have the, the stopping power Friendly like the MP7 and I'm not doing so damn hot right now like I said I'm I'm ex I'm excited um I don't know what to look forward to but I'm I'm, I'm trying to trying to find my niche we got people behind us uh, I'm trying to and I'm, I don't know maybe I've just hit the wrong damn room today <laughs> but I'm trying to find my niche you know I'm trying to find my groove and um, you know I'm I'm keeping it as true as I can I'm your, your average hardcore gamer I like to uh, I like to play and that's what I do best and there is an enemy somewhere over here I can't believe I missed this guy gotcha and see that's the EVO that I'm using right here uh, that's the last submachine gun you get I'm gonna be doing um another map brought the pain time to go over paid. some more in-game commentation uh, but I mean I'd like to you know some input from my subscribers um, what do you guys think I mean what kind of content do you want me to bring you I mean I can give you reviews on stuff like I normally do um, I'm giving you <clears throat> partially in this video reviews about you know the mp7 you know, I, I think it needs a little more. It 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 needs a little more bounce to its ounce, so to speak. It needs to be. Um, let me try to find a new room. Uh, it needs. They need to put some recoil on that gun, man. Like even without the the grips and stuff on it, it holds pretty true to what you're actually shooting at. Um, we'll vote random here, but it it holds pretty true. Um. And I'm just shocked. I'm shocked by the fact that it does hold pretty true. Let me go through and show you some of these skill streaks they got. Because I know a lot of people don't have the game that's thinking about getting it. They're wishing for it for Christmas. Um, you know, and you know, and I understand. K9 unit. So you get unlike that level 51 and 54 for the swarm. That would be sick. Either one of those two would be sick. Looks like the game's starting. Express. This is a good map. I like this map. And I notice a lot of these maps actually take place in um, like Los Angeles, Hollywood area. I've noticed that a lot. It's like they they tried to make it. They brought, the, they brought Call of Duty to Hollywood. That's that's what I'll say. Squad, they seem to have brought Call of Duty into Hollywood. Let's try to get that knife through over there. It actually hurt somebody. 
Where the hell did he go? There he is. He should have had me there. See, but look at the kick on this gun, guys. We've taken the I mean, advantage. Just, I know it's tap and go, but still, man, I, when I get on a guy, man, I just love to hammer down. And But I like to try to control the recoil at the same time. And it's a little bit hard for me to get used to the EVO. I like it. Um, but I'm gonna be honest with you guys. We've lost I'm probably gonna share a secret here that a lot of people advised, are gonna be like, no. Incoming. But the M8, the M8. There's a guy actually just hit my shock charge back here. We pulled forward. Um, the M8 assault rifle on this game. It's not the prettiest gun, but that thing has some massive power. Um, I know that I was actually just killing, murking people with it. I mean, it was just just the shit I'll just call it just the shit and it was just like a it's a three round burst now and remember almost any of these guns so far from what I can tell you can put your um, um, what do they call it here I'm talking about it and I done had a brain fart and don't even remember your selector switch you got a selector switch that you can use um, and you can make it fully automatic uh, I'm gonna carry over that M8 this time when I when I go. I was gonna carry the EVO, and if I had enough, I would carry over the EVO. You know, I, but you only get like one token, and I, I want to carry over that M8. I think the M8 would give me what I need. Shit. I think it would give me what I need as far as I'm. Like I said, I'm a hardcore player. I like precision shooting. Um, you know, it's it's just the gun for me. It's a burst fire weapon. Um, I'll probably set it up with a class where I'm I'm pulling off burst fire and I'll make a silencer class. And I'll probably also put it in a custom class where it's fully automatic. That way, if I'm having a shitty off day, actually aiming. And I recommend anybody do that. You should always have a backup fully auto class because sometimes and if you're a gamer you know you have off days and those off days can really be shitty um, I've had days before where I've actually and earlier today I was having such a rough day um, and I mean I'm not doing so great right now but I'm doing alright but uh you guys know what I'm talking about if you're if you're a hardcore shooter you you know what's up I mean sometimes you got these shitty ass days and sometimes uh, the kills just ain't happening. It's like somebody's getting the drop just a little bit more than you. They're they're actually moving a little faster than you, and I mean it happens. And you know it, this is just how it is. That's life online, man. I mean it's just UAV like that guy right there about got me. And I'm throwing these shock charges down um, with the bouncing Betty. Cause it actually stuns your opponent. Shit. It actually stuns your opponent and lets them. They they're, they're actually dazed by it, and the Betty actually pops up and actually gets them. So that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool. One-two combo punch right there. I Me and buddy when I was talking about how that's set up. Hostiles have destroyed your equipment. You can see they've destroyed my Betty. And you'll see me referring to it a lot as Betty. Get a kill! Alright, it's time for me to actually jump into... Hang on. Alright. Going loud and proud. Ah, oh, I thought I had him there. Let's go not so loud. Let's just go with a silencer. It's it's just screwing with me, guys. I'm 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 just excited. Get that dickweed out of my sight. Get that dickweed out. I think that's pretty cool. Um. Friendly hunter killer drone shit, deployed. I can't move. Oh, I suck. But yeah, I mean, out of the hardcore, I'm I'm sure they're going to add. I'm hoping. I've actually been uh, shit. I've been tweeting David Von Dehar, um and Call of Duty. I'm not saying that I'm affiliated with these guys, but uh, 
I've been trying to get some some notice for the hardcore players, um, and I mean, you know, it, it, we all should have the ability. Shit, we all should have all the game modes in hardcore that we do in core. I mean, you know, I'm. I just the thing I think, about, and a lot of people's like, why don't you like core? To me, it just seems very chaotic. You know, I'm not saying that scrubs play it because I mean I can get my ass handled in core. I mean, you know, I'm just. I'm not a core player. You know, I like to catch that drop. I like to catch the drop on the guy, and if I got the drop, even if he's running around the edge of a corner, if I hit him in the shoulder blade upper head, in reality, he's going down. You know, I mean, nobody stands and nobody can walk through and go re and get health regeneration. I mean, that just don't happen. You know, in real life, in real life, it doesn't happen, and in my games, I don't like for it to happen either. So, but I'm not bashing, you know, like I said, I, I'm a, I'm a 100% gamer. If the game had core only, Friendly I would have to actually inbound. learn to adapt to that. Um, so, I mean, I do get a lot of flat because most people are, just love the core. Shit, I'm about team kill. And that's another bad thing about hardcore, you team kill. Friendly I wish they would have made deployed. this thing to where you could actually... Um, have ricochet. Your equipment has been ricochet. Uh, ricochet is the way to go. Uh, railroad tracks. And up on that catwalk. Ah. Uh. Damn. Anyway, going, going on into this, man. I, I'm, I'm trying to, I'm trying to just, just get a feel, man. I'm just trying to get a That's feel. A um, pretty excited. Must really care about that. Got a. A lot of my buddies are excited for me, uh, and I appreciate all the support that I've been getting from my from my community, from from you guys, man. You guys have made all this possible for me. Um, I appreciate it. Um, sorry about all these guys cussing in the background, going on crazy. But you know that's Call of Duty. Uh, and if any vulgarity emblems have popped up on the screen from these other guys, I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, I'm, but like I said, man, I, I'm really excited, um, and I'll make that my last game with some commentary. Um, and again, if you if you've not subscribed to me, please take the time to do so. This is the Mad Review. Until next time, guys. Y'all take it easy, man.